if your link's red, will you go back into the CSS file, change the color, the, the property for your links to red, and all your sites, sorry, all your pages will reflect that change. And then we also need to give it a size. I'm going to select 14 for this, 14 pixels. And I'm going to click OK. OK, so now we have all the classifications we need to create this tag. I'm going to click OK. And the, t the new div container now appears below the container for the header of the page. And you'll notice that there is text inside of the container. And this, that's just kind of a placeholder. We're going, to get re we're going to remove that and we're going to add the links here. So the first page is going to be our vision. The next link is going to be services. And then about us. And finally, contact. So now that we have the text inserted into the container, we got to create links out of these. So the first thing you want to do is select highlight our vision. And then down in the properties menu, we want to point it to the index page. Now, since we don't, we, this page, the index page is already there. So we can actually point this link to there by click by going into the browse menu and selecting the index page. But we don't actually have the other pages created yet. You could create the pages first and then go ahead and point the links later. But it's going to be easier for this to just create all the links now and then create the pages later. In order to do that, though, you won't be able to browse for the file, so you have to actually manually add in the links yourself. And you do need to make sure you put a period, period, forward slash before each file that you create. So we're going to, this one's going to be services.html. The reason why we do the period, period, forward slash in the front of the HTML file is because since the template is located inside of a subdirectory, we need to tell the HTML code to move up to the root folder and then select any files inside of the root. Please be aware that when you make links, you don't want to add spaces or, to be honest, uppercase characters because it just really confuses things. Don't add any um, other symbols into the file. Just use standard text, I mean, sorry, standard numeric, uh, sorry, letters or, or numeric, num uh, numerics, like numbers and stuff like that. Okay, so we have all the links created now. And what we're going to do is save the template and it's asking it's going to ask us what files do we want to update that's based on this template since we only have the index file right now we're going to update that one and you'll notice that the file that was examined was the one index file and it also updated it and now we're going to click close so when you go into the index page itself it'll show you the new links and we're going to save that another thing you'd be aware of if you make changes to the template when you have an open page that's based on a template, you will need to save it because it does update any pages that you already have open. So we have these links and you notice they are locked. The only way you can change the links is go back into the template, make the changes, save it, and let it update all the pages inside of the template. And we're also going to create the other four pages now. We're also adding an identifier in the title, and this will show up in the title bar when someone views your page in their web browser. This is a good thing because it also helps the uh, the search engines index your page. It tells the page, it tells the search engine what page it is and what kind of contents on it.
Okay, so now we have all the pages created. So what we want to do now is actually upload everything back to the web, including all the pages that we just created. Yes, yeah, so since the CSS file did, we did make a change to the CSS file, we do want to save it. Okay, let's go see what the let's go check the links and see what the page looks like. We're going to refresh the page. One thing you want to remember about refreshing a page after you've made changes is sometimes the web browser that you're using will not update the page that you have. It stores a local copy of the page that you on your computer, and sometimes it does not change the page that's the local copy of the page that you have on your computer. So when you hit the refresh button, it doesn't actually show you the new version of the page. And then you have to go into your browser settings and delete your cache. And that's usually done in the options menu. Okay, so we, now we have the links. And this is our home page here. And it shows our vision. Let's click on our vision and make sure it loads. Okay, that works. Services. Notice that I forgot to actually add... Um, the actual titles for each of these. You want to title also title your main content as well so people know what page they're on in addition to the title of the page which is which is stored up in the title bar. And it also helps you see what page you're on as well. Okay, I'm going to put the entire site again, and it's going to ask me to save all those pages before I actually put the content. And I'm going to say yes to all. I'm going to save all the pages that we just changed. Go back to the web. Go back to our vision. Okay, services should be changed now. Yep. About us has changed, and contact. Okay, so we have four new pages with a, with a link menu now that people can use to navigate your site. And that concludes this tutorial. You can find out more about me and my services by visiting me on the web at www.scottlarsonconsulting.com.